I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video of this Anchor Hybrid Portable Battery and Wall Charger uh, that I got from the Apple Store earlier today. Um, I've been looking for something like this for quite some time. I'm specifically looking for something that can replace my MacBook Pro Charger. This one particular one is a 61 watt uh, version that comes with my uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch can also replace a typical phone or iPad charger, a USB-A one. This particular one's a 12 watt. And then also a um, power bank that I sometimes carry around with me when I'm out traveling or on the road. This particular one's a pretty small one. It's, what is it? Only about 2,200 milliamp hours. In any case, I've been on Amazon and all over the place looking for some sort of power bank that um, combines all these things. And there are a couple like the Anchor Power Core Fusion and some from Raf Power, some from other random brands. But this one just came out, I think, um, relatively recently, maybe this month, and is only currently exclusive to the Apple Store. So I drove out to one and got it. So let's see how it works. Now, I um, looked at a number of specs online. This particular one is the first that has USB, that I know of at least, that has the USB-C with power delivery. This one, partic uh, this particular one goes to, um, uh, and outputs 30 watts, um, which again is not the 61 watts like my MacBook Pro charger, but um, my wife, she has a MacBook with the um, 29 watt uh, power supply, and that charges my laptop just fine in a pinch so my hope is that this will work just fine so pardon me I'm doing this with one hand there it goes I'm gonna slide this out nice packaging here and here it is yep that's empty here It's packaged in this plastic right here. We'll put that aside for just a second. Let's see what's down below. Nothing in there. And we just have ourselves a user manual. Typical standard fare. We'll move this over. Multilingual, of course. And it just explains that it shows us how to check the battery level, how to use it in battery mode. It looks like it only really um, endorses plugging in an iPhone or an iPad, not necessarily a laptop in battery mode. Using the charger mode, here's where we find that yes, when you plug it into AC power, then sure thing, whatever you want, plug in a MacBook Pro. And you can use this, um, now, what is this? It is, oh, it's 12 watts. Yes, the charger mode is a 12 watt charger, just like this one, or an iPad. And then this product will recharge itself only after the connected USB devices are fully charged. Recharging it, plug it in. Recharge it once at least every four months, and all sorts of other stuff. Great. Now, I'll admit it was kind of neat to see an Anchor product in the um, Apple Store. I'm used to buying it on Amazon, but it did come with the hefty price tag. It was $99.95, but hopefully it is worth it. So, let us see what this is like. Again, pardon me, one-handed. And here we have it. It's a nice glossy finish with this kind of chrome silver ring 
all the stats are here, or all the specifications rather. Nice, so when we push the button, it is not, unsurprisingly, uh, not charged out of the box, but that is all right. Let's go ahead and plug it in here. Oh. It's a little bit top heavy here, so we'll just prop it up on this for now. Then let's start off with my MacBook Pro. I'll go ahead and get it all set up here. All right. So this is a standard Apple USB-C charge cable, two meters. So I'll plug it in a second. Power delivery. I'll plug this in here. Turn up the volume to make sure we can hear it. And sure enough, let's see if it says that it's charging. Battery is not charging. But again, that my uh, wife's 29 watt charger sometimes does it at first too. Or it could just be that my battery is already full. In any case, I'll give it a little bit of time. Oh, there it goes. So calculating time until full. So it's charging. Now that I guess the uh, laptop is requesting the power that it wants, we can do that. Now let's try system information. Let's see what the. Uh, we go under power, let's see what it says. So the AC charger information, it's connected, yes. Wattage is 30, and yes, it is charging. So, cool. As long as I'm doing light stuff or idling, or if I close the laptop, I anticipate that this will charge just fine. And I am sure if I use this standard Apple Lightning to USB-A cable, I plug it into the uh, thing here, this way. Let's try it on a on an iPad. Sure enough, it charges, but this was already charging anyway, so we have no surprises. Let's go and unplug everything, because now I want to see how it works when it's not plugged in to AC power. So I'll plug this. I'll let that drop down. So, again, two batteries, or two, uh, two bars because there's not very much charge. This is not charging. We have however much that is. And let's try plugging in and see what happens. It actually is charging it is not charging but at least it recognizes it's connected to a charger so we'll give it another few seconds we'll see if this decides that it wants to try charging off of this guy and it is calculating time until full system information is closed so it can refresh let's open it again So under power, and look at that. So connected, yes, wattage is 15 watts, and it is charging. So as the um, online reviews have said, the sparse number that I've seen, this does not charge the full 30 watts power delivery over um, when it's just connected to the battery, but hey, it's better than nothing. So if you're in a pinch, I mean, it's only 5,000 milliamp hours, but hey, maybe it can get you a couple extra minutes or even hours while you're out on the road. And then for fun, let's go ahead and plug in the lightning cable into this iPad. Let's see if it all will run at the same time. And sure enough, it does. So all in all, nifty device. It's again, not that much bigger than, oh, excuse me, not all that much bigger than my 61 watt 61 watt adapter for comparison's sake 
There we go. But we can consider that it replaces this, this, and maybe two of these. It's not so bad. So feel free to ask any questions you might have down in the comments. If anything crazy happens, good or bad, with my use of this over the next couple of days or weeks, then I'll let you know. But hopefully this is the product I've been looking for. Thanks for watching. Bye.